let's talk about Toll Brothers Rolling Hills in Rolling Hills, California. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Lisa Del Zampo, and today we're talking about the new home development in the Country Club at Rolling Hills Country Club. First, I'm going to tell you what you can learn for yourself, and then I'm going to tell you what a realtor can do for you if you are represented when you purchase a new home. What you can learn for yourself is all of the materials in their brochure. You can learn the layouts, sizes, what the taxes are, what the HOA fees will be. And let me tell you a little bit about those. The HOA is about $398 a month and the taxes are about 1.3%. So you could find that out for yourself and I'm sure the nice folks there at the development would tell you that. I almost headed over to the new homes today but I had not yet received a reply. You do learn pretty quickly that if there's a guarded gate and someone has arrived without permission to be inside, they don't get in. But that is a good thing for those of you who want to live in a guarded, gated community. You can find out that it's near to the shopping in the Rolling Hills Plaza off Pacific Coast Highway. You can figure out that it's 35 minutes to LA Airport LAX. It's about 45 minutes from Disneyland. You can figure out your commute. Just put it in the maps and figure out how long it's going to take you to get to where you work. You can figure out what the schools are. Go to the Palos Verdes Peninsula website and on the schools tab just scroll down and click locator and then you'd put in an address that would tell you what schools are connected. But what you can't do is change the price of the home typically in a new home development. And that's because the way that new home developments price their homes, the new home developer makes an assumption about what percentage of buyers are going to be represented by an agent when they walk in that door. And it's usually somewhere between 40 and 60%. They factor in the cost of paying an agent into pricing across all of the lots, all of the homes, and for each of the lots, they then determine, based on what size home is going on there, the price of that home. So they don't change the price when you walk in without an agent versus when you walk in with an agent. The price of the home is the price of the home. The reason to have an agent represent you is just like in any other transaction. You have another set of eyes, someone who's done many transactions, looking at things line by line, and determining, is there a mistake being made here? What is this? Let's make sure that you're aware of it. Let's try to protect you as best we can. And even if there was nothing to catch along the way, that agent could possibly negotiate something better. And if you go look at these um, purchase prices for these homes, what you'll find is that the home was listed at one price and then closes the sale at a quite a bit higher price because typically they are listing the home as a base model. And so the increased prices on upgrades increases the price of that home. Now you'll notice that you didn't hear any difference in changing for whether you have a real estate agent. And if that purchase price for the home is going to be the same whether you're represented or not, it would seem to make sense that you should be represented and we'd be happy to help you with that. I wanted to make a note because I've been in video editing mode for this video for a, a little bit and I'm realizing that I did want to say a little bit more about using a realtor. And I'm saying you don't have to use me, but you should use somebody that can help you look through all of the information that's going to be put in front of you as you're buying a new construction home. Are you going to trust that listing agent to represent you as zealously as the listing agent is representing the seller? And the answer is it's human nature. They probably aren't. They'll do their best to remain neutral and not tell you what the seller is saying and not tell the seller what you're saying. Any of the dozen or so realtors that you know, have them take you in on your first visit to buy the new construction home. You don't have to use me to do that, but get someone to go along with you. I've helped people buy hundreds of homes. 
I also went to law school and was an active attorney for a few years. So I do have probably a higher level of understanding of the contracts and um, documents that go through a transaction to try to help protect you. But even just someone who's been trained somewhat will help you more than just you going it on your own. In California, the first disclosure that you should be provided is an agency disclosure, which explains that the agent is a fiduciary of yours. The agent owes you a fiduciary duty, the highest duty at law, just like an attorney owes their client, to put your interests first and try to help you achieve your goals to their utmost. Uh, having been a lawyer, I understand this duty and I practice it in my real life. And when you're looking for an agent, I suggest that you find someone who can explain that to you and how they handle their practice and that they're looking out for you. I also wanted to set some expectations about what an agent will probably be able to do for you and maybe won't in a new construction situation. There could be some benefits that can be negotiated, whether it's some more concessions, those kinds of things. I've helped people buy in new home developments where the owner, because of the market, was ready to deal and offer some very large extra incentives, especially after we as the agents talked to the owner. I've also helped people through both that same development and others where the market is so strong with buyers that the new home developer doesn't feel the need to give any additional incentive and negotiate. So at that point, your agent is protecting you by reading through documents, trying to help you issue spot, all of those kinds of things. You will notice that as you sign the documents, it's going to tell you that you as the buyer have the duty to investigate and that you do not put that on to either the agents or the owner to go do investigations of things that are important to you. Now the owner does have to tell you what the owner knows as to an issues with a home. But a new home developer is not going to have lived in the home, as you can imagine. And so there isn't a lot of firsthand knowledge of what they would need to disclose. So compare that to resale homes, where the homeowner has lived in the home for years and knew about a roof leak and has to tell you about that. And here we go, let's go talk some more about the new home community at Rolling Hills Country Club. It's the David Kidd designed golf course at the Rolling Hills Country Club. Many of these homes offer easy indoor-outdoor living that lends itself to entertaining friends and family and even just relaxing and enjoying the spectacular views. Those views are of downtown Los Angeles and the San Gabriel Mountains and of course the golf club itself. The schools connected to the Toll Brothers homes in Rolling Hills are some of the best in the nation, in the Palos Verdes Peninsula Unified School District. The two public high schools are Palos Verdes High School and the Palos Verdes Peninsula High School. Both rank in the top 100 of high schools in the nation. As for the lower level schools, these homes are connected to Dapple Gray Elementary and Miralas Intermediate School. There are private schools on the hill as well. If you're curious about neighborhoods nearer to the ocean, check out our video on the Rancho Palos Verdes neighborhood near the Palos Verdes Bay Club. That's near Terranea and a new home development on the street of Nantasket. We'll have another video about that soon. But for now, if you have any questions, you'll see my contact information below.